It's not the hair. It's the hair. Guys, I made a graph. For every inch your hair grows, we see a 27.2% jump in views. It's not the hair. People actually care about their teeth. Not people. Women. 81.3% of your followers are women. Women care more about their teeth. Right, Ashley? You, you floss, right? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Known as Dr. M, Suhail Muhideen is trying his best to make going to the dentist fun or at least interesting. With over a million views on TikTok and Instagram, his unusual dental tips are going viral. And obviously, your hair is a big hit too, right? I was going to say, is. what are we talking? Are we talking teeth or hair today? So. <laughs> I, thought we're, I thought I got here for hair. No. <laughs> so you have some, You, I, I mean, I would think that we've all heard all the usual dental tips, but yeah. you're telling people things that sound oh, a yeah. little unusual. Totally. So a bunch of a bunch of new things that people have never heard of. All right, so let's go down the list, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, you, you sent us a list here. We're going to start with one here. Wash your toothbrush with soap every night. Yes. What kind of soap? So a lot of people don't realize how much bacteria is actually on your toothbrush. And I mean, you're usually sitting it right next to your toilet. So what uh. you want to do is you want to make sure that you're washing it with soap. It could be any hand soap that's next to your sink every single night, and then once a week, you want to place it overnight in a solution of hydrogen peroxide in water, and that's the best way to disinfect or clean okay. your toothbrush. But doesn't it taste soapy then? I mean, do you, your toothbrush doesn't taste soapy? It does not. Actually, you should try it. It does not. You should okay. wash it with water, 30 seconds, tastes yeah. fine. All okay. right. You also say you should brush before breakfast, not after breakfast. This is the one beautiful thing about being a dentist, Robin, is at parties, people open their mouth and show you their teeth and then ask you the question, do I brush before breakfast or mm -hmm. after? Yeah. And we always tell our patients, if you are brushing after an acidic breakfast, there's a chance of enamel demineralization. So the right thing to do is brush right when you get up in the morning, have breakfast, and then rinse with water afterwards. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Um, another one here, um, you always, okay, uh, whitening toothpaste here. Uh, your thoughts on that? So this is like the toothpaste aisle's best secret. Yeah. Whitening toothpaste actually don't whiten your teeth. They contain more abrasives that actually just remove enamel versus whitening. Whitening or staining is in the inner layer of the teeth. You need an oxidizing product like Crest White Strips, Opalescence Go to actually whiten. And definitely don't use any charcoal toothpaste because that's really bad for your enamel. Oh, because oh. you see that all over the TikTok. Yep. That's no yes, good. That is absolutely so no good. So the white strips, the whitening toothpaste is just, it's garbage. Garbage. The, okay, yep. good to know. All right. You say coffee. Uh, how long is it that coffee and tea stains your teeth? It takes less time than you think, or what is it? So I'm going to go back to the science yeah. here. So enamel demineralization happens when the pH of your mouth is less than 5.5 for longer than 30 minutes. And I'm guilty of this, but everybody sips on their coffee for like four hours. Yeah. And that causes a lot of cavities and causes a lot of staining. So what I recommend is drinking your coffee within 30 minutes, rinsing with water afterwards, or chewing a piece of sugarless gum or using a fluoride mouth rinse that helps increase the pH of your mouth and mm. reduces staining and reduces cavities. All right. So after you have your coffee though, you, you don't recommend necessarily brushing your teeth. You're saying rinse. Do not. Yeah, again, Do. going back to this idea of brushing in an acidic environment can cause enamel demineralization. Gotcha, but rinsing out with scope after coffee or rin so rinse you, is okay. Water or an ACT mouthwash, which is like a fluoride-based mouthwash, okay. you, don't, you do not want to use any alcohol-based mouthwashes. You also uh -huh. say there's three foods that prevent cavities, celery, apples, and wasabi. <laughs> uh, so the main thing that, that can help reduce cavities are saliva flow. So if you have a crunchy vegetable or like an apple, that helps in it increases your salivary flow, which automatically reduces your cavity risk. Well, he's doing something right. You have great teeth. Great teeth, I mean, great hair. Come on. <laughs> great smile, I mean, you gotta so come back. Right. So do you use like whitening strips? Do you, or are you just naturally white teeth? So I always, this is the thing what people think about whitening. Whitening is like working out. Like if you can work out really hard one time, and it doesn't really do anything. So whitening, you just have to whiten for long periods of time. I use a custom whitening tray made at a dentist. Yeah. And I use it 30 minutes, three to four times a week. And I just oh. do it all the time. I haven't done it in a while, but you know. So it's, if we uh, used white strips on a regular basis, it would yeah. improve it too? Totally. I gotta do the work. 100%. Yeah. It well, it's a pleasure right. meeting you, Dr. M. You Very can nice check out more you. at dentology.com and follow him on social media. He's got great tips. Great to see you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.